Okay, so this is basically a video on how to get away with overstocking your tank. I have about 21 Neon Tetras, Red Tail, Rainbow Shark. I currently have five Angelfish in here, a Clown Loach, three White Skirt Tetras, five Priscilla Tetras. I don't know their real name, but I can't pronounce their real name, I should say, but they're the genus that they go by or whatever you want to call it. Their sidekick name would be the X-Ray Tetra. So basically what you want to do is over-filtrate the shit out of your tank. Like crazy over-filtration. I have two hang on the back filters and then down on the bottom. I'm actually not going to show you that. It's a mess down there. But down on the bottom, I have a Aquatop CF500. It's doing a great job. I currently ordered another filter for it. These are my breeding pair. They're babies. Heavily guarding them. Got my Brian Shrimpatry along with the lone survivors of the last batch. I don't know if you can see them all the way over there in the corner. Chilling out, getting big. Basically, over filtration is key in heavy amounts of plants. As you see, I just got this LED about maybe a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. It's a great LED. Amazing. It's the current set the satellite current USA Plus. It's not the Pro. I wanted to get the Pro, but the Pro is expensive as hell. So I just stuck with the Plus. But it does an amazing job keeping all the plants alive. At the bottom I'm getting about maybe 30 par, 20 par, which is perfectly fine for the um what's it called? Java moss that's growing all around. I'm gonna take a lot of that out because these plants are doing absolutely great job at filtering out the water. I have a Nubius, whatever you want to call it, Plathos hanging down from the overhang filter in the back. But other than that, plants and filtration. Those are the two main things. If you could get those two things down, then you could overstock your tank as much as you want. I'm currently, when all these guys get back, usually these two are also in the tank, so it'd be seven fish, angel fish in that tank. But when all these guys, if this guy wants to be so territorial, if when all these guys are fully swimming and whatnot, and they all hatch, or all are adults, I should say, not dime size like those guys, those are actually nickels. Where are my dimes? Right there, there's one. He's tiny. He's tiny. But there's going to be about, I'd say, 20 angelfish in here. Maybe a little more. 30. So, yeah, that's a lot of fish. And also, I have a bunch of loaches and whatnot, but they're hiding in the decorations. Algae isn't that big of a problem. A lot of people have a problem with algae in their tank when they overstock it. But that's because they don't have enough plants to suck up all the extra nutrients or their lights are too bright. If one or the other is the case, then you should probably switch down. Like if, you're, if your light is too big, add more plants to absorb all the extra nutrients and light coming through the water. If you're, you have too many plants, but not enough light, all the plants are gonna die back and it's gonna create a spike in your water conditions, which is not gonna be 